Hey, how's it going, everybody? It's your boy, Delightful Kiss Boy, and today we're going to play some Inscription. Now, I have played Inscription like two and a half years ago, or two years ago, or some shit, um, and uh, I loved it. It was great. I don't remember all the details, uh, so I figured, hey, I kind of want to play this game again, and let's just see if, uh, let's see how it goes. So, I want to start a new game. I'm trying to remember. How do you... How do you do that again in here? Do you have to go to like options and then erase my save data or something? Uh, resolution, master volume. Oh, here we go. Reset save data. Let's just do it. I don't really care. All of it. Reset the save data. Do it. I don't care. All right. We're starting her up. We're going to start a new playthrough of the, um, the main story. Oh, I got to click on that. I forgot. A Daniel Mullins game. A delightful little game. I tried to record, uh, I played Kenito Pet earlier, okay. but the recording was dog shit. Anyway, I'll tell you in a minute. Okay, time to figure out what's on this thing. Oh yeah, this guy, what was his name? It was the, um, the something Carter, right? Inscription! Press any button to start. Alright, here we go. Alrighty. Uh, let's go ahead and, I think we have to continue. I, for, I remember now. You can't start a new game until you've continued. Game starts with a little twist. Little twist. Alright, I gotta remember how the mechanics work in this game. Uh, it's got such good atmosphere, man. I'm excited. I love this game. I love card games in general. Like Magic the Gathering is uh, one of my favorite games. Specifically Draft. Alright, another challenger. It has been ages. Perhaps you have forgotten how this game is played. Actually, accurate. I feel like he's talking to me right now. Allow me to remind you. All right. Let's go. We got the squirrels, the stoats, the wolves. Play the squirrel. Now play your stoat. All right, I gotta press S to go back. I remember now. And we sacrifice that to play the stoat. I'm remembering now. Go back. Wolves require two sacrifices. You don't have enough? Yep. So you ring the bell to end the turn and commence combat. And then he hits him, right? Yeah, he stands on a pose. The number on the bottom left is its attack power, one. And then, uh, toughness is three there. Oh yeah, I forgot. It's the scales. Your stoat dealt one damage to me. I added it to the scale. You win if you tip my side all the way down. Like that. Like this. Alright. My turn. Alright. He plays his coyote in front of my stoat. He attacks me. Two damage to my stoat. That means your stoat's health is two less. If the creature's health reaches zero, it dies. It's your turn again. Alright, so... You draw from the deck, or you can draw a squirrel. We want a squirrel here, I'm assuming. He's saying how dull. I don't remember, do you get like a bonus if you, um... If you keep the stoat alive? I remember the stoat gets mad if you sacrifice it to play a wolf. So I'm gonna try to keep the stoat alive. Let's just send it in. Because you are learning, I will pass. Okay. Draw a squirrel. And then I can play both squirrels. Oh yeah, I can press S to go back. I forgot. Play both squirrels here. Play a wolf. And we'll play him in the middle there. And then pass. And then I think he's dead. And we kept the stoat alive. Four damage dealt. Four weights on the scale. Alright. You've won this match. They all... They won't all be so easy. Couldn't all be so simple. Let me recall your story. Oh yes. Alrighty. You were lost deep in the forest. Single path revealed itself. Yep. Alright, let's go get a card. I remember this now. Two denizens of the forest approach you tentatively. The adder. Caustic adder. Damage to its poison. Bite is always lethal. Versus the cat. The undying cat. Sacrificing the poor beast it does not kill it. Alright, I'll take the cat. Another creature joins your caravan. Alright. We move on. Okay. Get my items here. Some of the creatures across it. Okay, come across a banded sack. Alright, you find a squirrel in a bottle. Break in case of emergencies and have a second. Alright. And then I have this one. This one's a not a very good implement. Alright. Three is as much as you can carry. Okay. Move on to another battle here. Alright. Alright. You're ambushed while crossing some rough terrain. Okay. Yep, yep, yep. You didn't <laughs> sacrifice me. How kind. Maybe... You'll help me? Hmm, I don't know. I remember you being a baddie. Play along for now. Okay. 
Uh, you may see my moves ahead of time. Okay. Uh, well, what I can do here is I can uh, play the squirrel there, and then I can um, play a cat. Ah, uh, do I want to hide the cat behind a stump? Yeah, why not? And then I have an uh, infinite sack off of it, and I'll play the stoat there. Uh, he's got a, um, what is that? A wolf cub coming in, which will turn into a, a wolf, I think, right? And then we just attack. Then he's got a bat coming in over there. Ambitious wolf cub. It ages swiftly. Yep. Okay. Uh, here I want to get a squirrel so I can get my snapper out. And um, put the snapper, I guess, just here. Not even very good, but we can just sacrifice him later. All good. All right, turns into a real wolf, and then uh, an airborne bat flies over to attack it directly. All right, flew right over my stoat. All right, let's draw here. We got a wolf here. Um, I mean, it's yeah. Actually, that was probably a misplay of putting this here. And right, I'm trying to remember how this shit works. Anyway, um, I'll just hold off though. I can play the wolf next turn in front of that wolf and kill his wolf. All right. That attacks there. I'll get a squirrel here. I'll put this down. And then we'll play the wolf here. Ding the bell. And we got three lanes open on his side. I'll just draw here now. And we get a wolf. Attack like that. And we win. Oh yeah, I remember. Yeah, if you deal over damage, you get more money. Okay. Get another card here. It's all coming back to me now. Alright, we've got a uh, wolf cub. Versus Sparrow, and I think we take the Wolf Cub, the Wolf Chub. All right, we go to there, and then um, we get the ability by sacrificing something, right? So uh, I can. What I think I'll do here is put the um, cat here, and let's put it on the stoat, and then just kind of uh, kill two birds with two birds with one stone with this one. So thinning your deck is always going to be good. A ghastly spectacle, but the soul of the cat now lives in the stoat. Alright, decent, decent. Alright. Move on now. We move on. Hold my totem. It inscribes my canine cards with the airborne sigil. Alrighty. He completely, he's completely insane. You see that, right? No care for the rules. Pathetic, really? Enough. Alright. It's all good, man. Chill out. Only keeps me around to watch me suffer. Alright. Here we go. Squirrel. Let me look at what he's got coming in. He's got bat. He's got coyote. Flying coyote. Um, so he'll swing right over my dude. Doesn't really matter which one I put my dude in front of. I think my stoat is a good matchup, obviously, against these. So we want to put them in front of it. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's put the... Um, Stoat here. Doesn't really matter. And then he's gonna hit for one. Oh, okay, I get, actually I get the wolf cub too. So let's put the wolf cub here. And uh, yeah, good shit. Alright. They're gonna swing over. So he uh, is actually fine with me. So we end up taking four here. It's all good. And then now uh, I'll draw a squirrel. Just get another wolf on the board here. And then uh, these two are gonna kill both of those two. Let's go like that, and let's just put this here. He's got nothing else coming in, so we're all good. Ding the bell, move on. All right. Four damage away from winning. Yep. And then he's got a flying wolf cub coming in, so let's just draw from the deck. And uh, here, what I can do... Let me think here. So that would be... I mean... Yeah, let me think. I could... Uh, I'm going to cash in the pliers now, get some money... Because these pliers are not very good, usually. I'll just free up a little space here. We'll get some moolah. Alright. Let's attack like that. Call it a day. Alright. Yep. Moving on. Moving right along here. So now we got one more item slot. I didn't check the map to see when we get an item next, but, uh, I mean, that fucking item is not very useful anyway. Alright, here we get another card. We got Wolf, we've got Sparrow, we've got Raven. Okay, so, I see that there's a Sacrifice Altar coming up next. 
Um, and I don't think I need another wolf here. I think what I'll do instead, I'm trying to remember what the other ability we have in our deck even is. Um, there was the endless sacrifice thing. And wasn't there one more ability we had? Oh, fledgling. But I want to keep the fledgling. So what I'm going to opt to do is I'm going to take the sparrow here, not that it matters, and then I'm going to sacrifice it immediately. Because um, that's better than the campfire. We just want to keep our deck lean and mean, baby. All right. And then uh, let's put down the sparrow here. And let's put it on the... Um, let me think here. I could put it on the wolf cub and then it becomes a flying wolf. Pretty good. Um, alternatively, I could keep this for a better sigil later. I think I will end up making a, just a flying regular wolf here. Alright, cool. Good stuff, good stuff. And then we move on to this Quambat here. Quambat, alright. Two grand furs. There's a way out for both of us. It's somewhere in this foul cabin. Be silent or I will tear you to shreds. All right, he said, no, there's dot, dot, dot. All right, um, now, let me think here. Let's just go squirrel. What's he got coming in? He's got a one, two, and then he's got his grizzly. Okay, this is like the the fight that you're not supposed to win, really. Uh, but let's try to win it. Why not? Let's try to win it. So what I'll do is I can put the stoat over here, attack for one, and then I can chump him over here with another squirrel for now. Or I could even... Actually, yeah, let's do this. Let's do this. Okay. I'm not even going to chump with the squirrel. What I can do is... Let's go like this. Okay, I'm going to put the stoat here. Hit for one. Chump with the stoat. Go next. Is that better? Or should I put the stoat here, put the wolf there? Yeah, let's do this. We chump with the stoat. We're going to use a squirrel here. We're going to put a squirrel there. And then I'll put my flying squirrel... Or my flying wolf over there. And we swing for four here. Oh. I was about to kill him, right? Okay. So is that that's an auto-fail, basically. Uh, I should have played this wolf then, and I could have get the fly... Oh, they have block... They block flying. Alright, so yeah, we have to... We have to lose this one. Too bad, too bad. Too fast. Too furious. Alright. We just die. All good, all good. I forgot yeah, the tutorial. It's like you, if you beat too quickly, you um, you just get like basically auto deaths. All right, using this as a learning opportunity, maybe the only way to mitigate my disappointment. Get up from the table. All right, press S. Fetch me the candlestick from atop the barrel beside the door. Open the door. All right. Um, I forgot we can look around. There's these little doohickeys. I don't remember any of the puzzles, man. Remember this one? Yeah, you have to set the clock right. Yeah, and then you get some special card or something. What the fuck? Can't use that right now. Okay. Um, there's the wolf. Blow out a candle. Spin the globe. Man, I don't remember any of this. Oh yeah, there's the... I remember, yeah, you can, you, you can like gouge your own eye out, right? Isn't that one of the things you can do later? Alright, bring it here, bring it here. Alright, I'm bringing it there. Alright, and there's the little figurines and the safe. And the room back there. Alright, the mysterious room. Alright, so we go back. Okay. Then we plop her down right there. Now sit back down. Alright, I'm sitting back down. Let me explain something to you. Oh yeah, I forgot the, the smoke. That's one of two mistakes you can make here. If you make another one, I must sacrifice you. Now, where were we? We were in the middle of getting our shit kicked in by the uh, dealer right there. All right, do we want, um, I don't even, I don't think I want, well, we could get items. We could do items. We could do items or I could go to campfire and try to get something eaten, get in the, get the river snapper eaten, keep my deck lean and mean here. Yeah, let's do that instead. I'm gonna try to get one of my cards eaten out of my deck. We got Grizzly, we got River Snapper, we got Wolf. Uh, I mean, I could go Grizzly or I could just go another Wolf. I mean, Wolves are pretty good. Three twos. We'll take one Grizzly, maybe. I'm trying to think. I don't think it really matters. Um, yeah, let's take a Grizzly. Alright, get one three blood. 
All right, here we're gonna go here. We're gonna try to get the river snapper eaten, I believe. Um, Cause you can keep putting it in, right? Cause uh, come warm one of your creatures by the fire, one said. Warm by the fire that will enhance its power, said another. You notice that they're wiping drool from their mouth. It's like, can't you put it in multiple times and then it might get eaten or something like that? I mean, I could put in, I could also just put in the wolf cub. Increase its power by one. That might just be better. Yeah, let's just do that. I'll increase its power by one. You warm the poor, uh, fire warm the poor wolf cub, enhancing its power. When the survivors reach toward it, another gnash their teeth. Without a word, you pulled the wolf cub away from the fire and left. Okay, so yeah, I think there's a chance they, like, eat your creature if you put it in. Okay. So I'm glad we went with the wolf cub there because they didn't. That's much better than the fucking river thing. The trees seemed to close in around you as a chill mist descended. In the distance, you could hear the clinking of metal and stone. A hobbled figure stood in your path. He's the prospector. He hawed. Was the prospector. All right. I'm trying to remember how. Doesn't he like blow up all your shit on the second phase or something like that? So he's got coyote and then the pack mule that gives you cards, right? All right. Uh, okay, so here what I want to do, I think, is I will opt to... Oh no, we got a wolf cub. Never mind. I'll keep my uh, squirrel for later. So, I don't want to put my wolf cub here because then it's just going to get hit by the coyote there. Um, I could put my wolf cub in front of the pack mule. It'll take off two turns hitting him. And then we'll get some more cards. But this moves over. Does it push shit over too? Or no? I think it just... Will be stopped in its tracks here, right? Yeah, let's just go ahead and do this. All right, so I'm gonna go like this. I'm gonna put the wolf cub like here. Yeah, it's fine. And uh, he's got two power now. All right, flips over, and then there's a coyote there. We take two back. It's all good. Now we got that. So then, now let's just grab a squirrel here. I'll grab another squirrel. I'll play two squirrels and get a. Wolf down. We'll hold our grizzly for the second phase here. Alright, let's go like this. Um, and then, do I want to kill the coyote? I think I don't kill the coyote. I think I'll just uh, keep the pack meal in place for now. Put this here, get three on him. So then we're dealing three, taking two. So we're ahead now. Good shit, good shit. Okay. And then now I could get another squirrel, but I don't think we need to play anything else now. So, he's doing the Prospector again. The easy boss. The Mule's Key. Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, let's just send it in. Get a bunch of cards. We got Squirrel, Skunk, all that shit. Dang, damn it, my Mule! Okay. Move on. Yep, I get it, boss. Alright, so we deal three now. Then he's got the, that shit coming in. Okay. So, I kind of, I think I want him to clear this one for us. I don't know, I can't remember. Alright, let's, um, draw a squirrel now. And I think here, um, I'm just going to not play anything and keep all my shit. Because I think he's gonna kill all my stuff anyway, so let's just attack. And then he dies and he goes to, like, phase two, right? I hope you didn't think it would be that easy. He, like, wipes all my stuff and turns them into gold chunks, gold nuggets. Okay. Gold, I just took a... Yeah, so I kind of wanted him to blow that one up. Oh, I forgot that his shit stays on the board. It's all good. Oh, Jesus. Hello, Gus. How are you doing, buddy? God, you gotta stop. You gotta give me warning when, before you jump on me, man. My kitty Gus. All right, let's just draw here. Um, so we only have space for one. Um, I'm trying to remember, the skunk is stinky, that shit sucks. Uh, let's go ahead and just play out the squirrel here, and then we'll put the, uh, stoat here. And then he'll kill the coyote, and then the coyote's gonna make more space for us over here. Which will be good. He's got the bloodhound. What is the bloodhound's ability again? I can't even remember, dude. Alright, whatever. We're just gonna draw here. I'm trying to remember, what does that do? Can I take a look? Right click. Guardian, when an opposing creature is placed opposite to an empty space, a card bearing the sigil will be moved to that empty space. Okay, that's fine. Doesn't fucking matter right now, right? Alright, so I could kill the Bloodhound with the wolf. 
immediately. Let's go ahead and do that. Yeah, fuck it, why not? All right, so let's go ahead and put a squirrel down, and then um, I'll just put out a... Yeah, we can play like two wolves or whatever. I could have played the grizzly bear out there too, but it's all good. Actually, we don't even have another wolf. That's fine. Uh, we could play out the river snapper here. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Let's put out a squirrel here, and then um, pretty good matchup against that. All right. We are cruising now. All right, he's got a death adder. That's actually pretty good for us to kill our shit over there. Um, I'll grab another... Let's grab our last card here. No biggie. All right, and then we just swing in. And we win. Okay, cool. Hello, Gus. How you doing, buddy? All right, we beat our first boss. Allow me to light your candles once more. I won't be killing you quite yet. Yet. Excuse me. All right, now we got our rare cards. Uh, you're the first in a while to overcome a boss. It's a rewar uh, reward. You're granted an opportunity to select a rare card. Choose carefully. All right, we got the Gek. Okay, 100 Geks. We got Child 13, which isn't that great, I don't think. And then the Strange Larva. Okay, that, so this one... This one gets, like, bigger and bigger every turn or something, right? I mean, I remember the... The, um... Rares in these... In this game weren't that great. I think Gek is the best one here. Because it's free. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. We're just gonna take the free card here. Because then we can, you can juice that one up and it's free. So anyway. With the sound of the Prospector's pickaxe still racing... Or ringing in your ears, you carried onwards. Because at worst, it's just a squirrel. You know? Which is pretty fine. You know, you're going to want that anyway. All right. The rank smell of rot and mold permeated the humid air. Uh, every step forward was answered by some nearby slip or slither. You tread cautiously into the wetlands. All right. Um, so here we have to get a card no matter what, unfortunately. Um, we get more items. We get our items back. I don't see any more items up there. So we'd be getting three items there. Alternatively, I could go here, hope to get a good sigil and put it on maybe my Gek. If I hit a good sigil here. This is the one where you like choose like a blood card here. I think I still just, I think I just want to get my items back though. For now. Let's go ahead and do that. May have been a mistake, but I don't remember this game much. All right, we got uh, Black Goat, we got Mantis, and we've got the Bullfrog. Definitely not Bullfrog. Um, Black Goat doesn't even seem that great. It's okay with the um, Grizzly Bear, but we've already got our Endless Stoat plus our Gek. So we could ha we could take this for the Sigil later, and it's a one-blood card, which is pretty decent. So, I'm gonna do that. Okay, Gus, you gotta go to your special captain's chair. There you go, Gus. Have fun over there, buddy. All right, um... If I could get that Mantis Sigil on... I mean, the Sigil's not even that great, though. It's okay. It's okay. But Black Goat is just not very good for our deck right now. I'm just going to take the, man the Mantis here, I guess. Why not? Alright, we get our items back. Okay, we got the, uh, yeah, Flight Thing, and then Black Goat, and then... Okay, I'm going to want the... Um, I mean, this can get this can get a blowout in, but I don't I don't think it's all that great. I think I'll go with the black goat here, and then here uh, I think I just want another squirrel. And here um, now I think I'll take this just to land the, the killing blow here. All right, three pretty decent items here. All right, then um, it's me, the stoat. Great. All right, so we got. Um, Pretty good player. He's got a bullfrog coming in there. The kingfisher. These ones, they they submerge. Uh, submerge itself during its opponent's turn while submerged opposing creatures attack its owner directly. Okay, so it's actively bad for him. All right, cool. So they fly over my shit and I attack through them and they only deal one damage. Good deal, good deal. All right, so this is a pretty good start. I just play the squirrel out. I play the stoat out. The stoat I'll put... Uh, yeah, I mean, I could just put it in front of one of these, but I think I'll leave it here and get a more powerful thing over there. <laughs> Total misplay. Uh, I don't know about that one. I don't know about that one, bub. Uh, maybe I could put it... But I put a... Jesus Christ, I can't speak. I could have put the Mantis there, but actually... We'll put the Mantis here. 
And then uh, the wolf cub. We're just going to ignore that guy. Who gives a shit? Let's go like that. Dealing quite a bit of damage here. Oh, it's actually just a win. Okay. Maybe I shouldn't have done that, though, to get uh, some, like, overflow damage to get more teeth. But it doesn't fucking matter. All right, we've got uh, we got a river otter here. We got the beehive, and then we got a river snapper. All right, the best one out of these is probably beehive. It's not even that good. But submerge is like an actively bad ability, man. On a one one, what are you showing me? All right, so we could go get more items, but we're full up on items, so we get a pack rat, and pack rat is ap actually bad. We could also get a plus here. I think instead I will opt to thin out the deck. Put a sigil on something else. Alright. We're going to put uh, the double strike, I think, on to... So this one, it's like whenever it gets hit, you get a B in your hand. That's... Eh. Yeah, let's put the double strike on um, the... Uh, I could put it on the Gek. It's pretty good. Put it on the Gek. I mean, I could put it on like a bigger card to deal two either way. Save the Gek for a better sigil later. Yeah, I'll just put on a wolf for now. Got rid of a one blood here. I would have preferred to get rid of a two blood, but um, what can you do? I think it's okay. All right, we move on. And then we get a totem. Or no, this is a totem battle, I forgot. All right. So all this shit can block flying. That's fine. We don't have much flying. All right, lucky draw. <laughs> and then uh, squirrel. Uh, river snapper. All right, so that one is a bullfrog. So we'll put the beehive in front of the bullfrog and we get two bees off of it. And we'll put the stoat over in the corner here because we have a double striker in our deck. So we put stoat over here and then we'll put the beehive there. And then hit for one and then we will block and get a bee. Pretty decent. Alright. We get a bee out of it. And uh, now I gotta think about this. I could just... I think I'm just gonna draw from this deck here. Now we got a flying wolf here. Alright, he's got... Two adders coming in, so our uh, stoat is going to die pretty soon here, but that's fine. Don't really care about that. We're going to just use the B as uh, fodder here. I think, um, actually, I could just sacrifice. Yeah, no, we're going to use the B. All right, like that. Put the wolf there, and then just swing in for three now, or four there. And it's just a win, right? Yeah, we just win. Didn't even need to use our items. All right, we're good. All right, we move on. We get more cards here. What are we getting, baby? What are we getting? All right, we got uh, Beehive. We got River Snapper. We got Elk. These all suck. I'll just take another Beehive. All right. Just want more one blood shit. Okay. We're uh, full up. I should have used one item so I don't get a fucking pack rat. Don't do it to me, boss. I don't want it. Don't give it to me. I forget. All right, whatever. Actively bad card. Two blood, giving you items. Ugh, not good, not good. Alright, whatever though. Alright, we got uh, Swirl, we got Stoat, we got all that other shit. Um, since we got the Pack Rat, I will just go ahead and use a Squirrel here. I could get a Grizzly out. He's got a few 1-1s. One I don't even think we need to though. I'll hold on to this for later. So I'm gonna go like this. Play out the stoat. I'll play out the stoat. I could put it right in front of one of the kingfishers, but I think instead it's a pretty good matchup here. It's gonna die potentially, but he's just gonna go to one. Uh, they'll swing in. He'll swing in, and I swing back. Pretty good there. I've got the wolf cub here. Oh yeah, I don't even need to use that. I forgot it's a wolf cub. So the wolf cub, I'm going to just put in front of the, you know, this thing. It stays alive forever. Pretty good. Send it on in. Deal three, and then we are only taking one, or two back. Two back. That's all good. Alright, then he's got a, um... What's he got over there? Sparrow coming in. Uh, we don't want to draw a squirrel here. I'm just going to draw from the deck. we got a beehive there, and the beehive does not have flying blocking. So we don't want to play it here, uh, because then it would just sit there indefinitely. We could play it just for fodder for the grizzly, but we might as well just wait until next turn to do that so no reason to do that right now i don't think doesn't do anything yeah i don't think we need to use items here so let's just go ahead and swing in oh yeah we just kill i forgot i gotta count the fucking teeth man jesus all right we got a trapper here Dude, is this where you buy pelts or whatever you were stopped along the way by a trapper looking to liquidate pelts there was something uncanny about his appearance 
but you were quickly distracted by his wares. Oh, I remember that's what that's what you use the teeth for, right? But they're actively bad. Delton teeth, which the type collected from battle. They're gained by dealing damage greater than what is needed to win the match. I don't want that, dude. See the quality? I don't want the fucking thing. Right, one, two, three, four. Okay, I'll just take this and I don't want to take anything else. Please consider me pelts. I'm not going to buy your fucking pelts, dude. They just clog up my deck. We want a lean, mean deck. So yeah, actually, we don't even need to worry about teeth then. Alright. Uh, we are full up on items, so let's just go ahead and try to hopefully sacrifice something here. Potentially. Plus one power. Um, Hanson's power, blah blah blah. Another good stop. Licking their lips. Alright. Here, um, I could increase the wolf's power here and deal a fuckload of damage, potentially. Let's go ahead and do that. I could lose him, but I don't really give a shit if I lose him. He's a two, um, two blood creature, so I don't care. Enhanced by the warmth, and we withdraw. Alright, all good, all good. Alright, so now we're fighting the angler. If I remember correctly, I think this one's rigged too, where you get the too fast, too quick thing. My boss battles are high stakes tests of your aptitude. One flame, you will either overcome them or die. Fear not, I will let you keep the smoke. I forget what the angler's fucking thing is. He like kills something every turn, right? The foul smell invaded your nostrils and caused your throat to seize. A hulking man sat by a brackish pond with his feet submerged in the dark water. He pulled the hook from a pile of rotting fish and rose to his feet. It's the angler! Go fish. Alright, alright. Here we go. What do we got? Pack rat here. I'm what is this gimmick? He like kills one of your things. Or no, he pulls it to his side, right? He like steals your shit. Isn't that what he does? I can't remember, bro. Alright, it's been so long. Alright, the smoke is just a free squirrel that we get. We have a beehive. The beehive is not a good matchup for his flying there. Um, pack rat, not that great right now. Uh, so what I'll do right here, I think, is I'm going to play the squirrel to free up space in my inventory, and then I'm going to play two squirrels, and then play the, um, pack rat, I think. Right, because smoke just gives you, yeah, it's just a creature, right? Alright. We'll do that, we'll do that, and then, uh, I'll put out the pack rat. Do I want to put it in front of the kingfisher? Um... Maybe, because I think if he steals your shit, he pulls it back and then pulls his shit back with it, right? Isn't that correct? So let's go ahead and do that. We'll put that there. I've got... What do the scissors do again? I'm trying to remember what the fucking scissors do, man. It's been so long since I played this game. Anyway, I can't remember. Anyway, um, I could play a beehive out, but there's no reason to. Because it's not getting attacked for anything. So let's just go ahead and uh, hit him for two and pass. Oh, it kills one of his creatures. I forgot. Which fish? Hard to choose. Oh, yeah. He'll steal whatever the next thing you play is. So here, uh, what I'm going to do is I'll do that. Now, what I could do, is, which is interesting, is I could give him a beehive and then just never put anything in front of it. <laughs> and then it's just clogging up his board. That would be okay. Alternatively, though, I think uh, I think what I could do is I could just play um, the smoke here, and then that's fine. All good. Let's just do that. Yeah, let's do it like this. Put it there, and then he goes for the new one, and then I don't want to play anything else, because then he'll just keep taking shit. So, yeah, let's just do that. Yeah, this is all good. All good. So, then I think he just steals my thing and then slides his own card out of play. Yeah, okay, now he's got just the, the fish there. All right. So let's here take a um, squirrel. So now um, he's dealing even less damage to us because he did that shit. So now what I want to do is I want to play the squirrel here. And I'll just put the uh, wolf cub. I'm trying to think. Yeah, I mean, if I put it there, then I'll just die. So I'll put him here. And then uh, we pass. We deal four here. And we go next, right? So what, what's his second phase like? I forgot. Oh yeah, that's, okay. Too too fast, too soon. I forgot. Okay. All good, all good. Um, we, yeah, we don't have any flying here, so our only way of 
winning here, right, is to... Oh, they've got the flying blocking anyway. How the fuck... Oh, wait, 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 wait. We, we, we could do is... Cut his card up. We cut his card and then make room. And then tank some damage, right? We deal four... Oh, we can't deal enough, though. I'm just trying to think... So we kill one there, and then we can tank with the beehive and try to live that way. Yeah, let's do that. Let's just let's give it a try. Why not? Why not? All right, all right, all right. All right. So um, here I want to draw a squirrel. We'll kill this one, and then I'll play the squirrel here. I'll play a beehive in front of this guy, and then, uh, we pass. Yeah. And then now all of our shit dies, though, for the most part, I think, but... All good, and then I draw here. I think we're still dead. Yeah, we're still dead, I think, right? Yeah, if I had another one of those snippy snips, I could have, uh, made two lanes open and then hit him for five and then killed him. That's the way you do it, I forgot, though. But hey, it's all good, it's all good. Um, this is supposed to be kind of a forced death anyway. So I think I'm just dead, so let's go ahead and just, uh, play it out. Take our, uh, just desserts here. We were too fast. All good, all good, all good. Alright, it's coming back to me, it's coming back to me. Yeah, this game is, uh, quite a bit of fun, buddy. Quite a bit of fun here. We like Inscription. We like it quite a bit. Alright, so now we get dragged off into here, and then we create a death card, and then we go again. I'm, I'm trying to remember, it's like slightly different, right? Like there's new cards introduced, all the, the bone cards. Alright, you aren't dead yet. This isn't purgatory. Though you may think of it that way. Before you expire, I must ask you a favor. I would like a memento. Right, the death card. Your very own death card. It's quite plain at the moment, isn't it? But work together to amend that. I want this to be the perfect memento of you. Here are some cards from your mediocre deck. We can put them to good use. Please, choose a card to get the cost from. Well, I'll take a zero. Cost of free from the rabbit belt. <laughs> and another. This time I'll use its power and health. The numbers. Uh, we'll take a four, six. Yep. Sounds good. And then uh, choose the sigils. Um, yeah, I mean, we'll take the trinket bearer. That's fine. And then uh, DKB. Delightful kiss boy. There's now but one final matter. The portrait. Take my picky pick. I'm a little delightful boy. You do not need to smile. I am smiling anyway. Alright, alright, here we go. Alright, so I'll probably um, record the next leg of this and then probably call it a night. Alright, here we go again. Another challenger. Alright, perhaps it is time. Perhaps you can understand the bones. The resourceful opossum costs two bones. You gain a bone when one of your creatures perishes for any reason. We got the stoat right there and then uh, the rattler, which is a 3-1. And uh, here we will put the, um, do we want to put the stoat in front of the rattle? I don't think so. I'm trying to think though. Bum, 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 bum. Yeah, okay. Let's go like this. We're going to put our stoat um, over here. We're going to take three. All right. Uh, from the death of your creature, you've gained a bone. Will not lose it until it's spent or the battle ends. Oh, shit, I should have put it there, I forgot, because of the... I want this to die to then get more bones for the opossum. That's ah, fine, it's whatever, I don't care. Alright, we'll deal one here. Wasn't thinking. For some reason I thought that I'd have another bone anyway. Alright, so let's uh, draw this. Um, here I will put the squirrel out now, and then let's go like this. We're gonna go... Uh, this is all good. Alright, then I'll put the opossum here, kill his dude, and then we'll just swing like that. Alright. A little bit of a misplay there, but uh, it's all good. Alright, we got a bullfrog now, and yeah, we just swing in like that. We win anyway. Alright. Not, never punished, never punished. Alright, alright. Here we go. 
Oh. I forgot your figurine. Go up and fetch it for me. Alright, I got you, bud. I got you, bud. Besides the safe. Alright. It's right there. Uh, that's me. Let's take a look at this shit. I can't do anything with this stuff, right? Oh, wait, what's this one? Oh, yeah, the beehive squirrel. So I think if we get this on the battlefield, then we unlock this thing, I think. It's like an escape room kind of thing. So I think uh, if I see a beehive, I'll pick it up, even if it's not very good. This is the... Oh, wait. Yeah, this has the... It's a 2273 on the safe. It's down in the book right there. So let's, let's try that out. All right, so... Two, seven, three. Hey, we got the stink bug. Oh, hello. I wasn't sure if I would ever escape that iron crypt. Is p is the stoat around? The stunted wolf? This madness must end. Put that away. All right. I think it gets added to my deck, right? And then there's a key there. Can I get the key? I can't. I can't take the key. Okay. I guess not yet. I think that opens this, right? Alright. Well, whatever. Alright, I guess I can come back to it later, maybe? The key? Well, hey, whatever. Alright. Here we go. Uh, let us continue. Alright, we put this dude down. We get another card here. We got the Coyote. A meager coyote, but what do you expect for only four bones? We got the Rattler. 3-1 for six. That is a cockroach. Unkillable. It returns to your hand after dying. Alright. So... I want the cockroach. The sigil's pretty good if I put it on like a geck or something like that. Um, so let's go ahead and take that for the sigil. And then uh, you know you're free to get up again to keep your blood flowing. Alright. Let's see if we can get the fucking key now. Um, no tyrant, you may stand up whenever the map is unrolled. It allows me time to plan for your next encounter, but do keep your hands off my possessions. Sure thing, boss. Don't worry about it. Alright. I think I could just solve this shit now, right? It was like a little... Pu yeah, this is the puzzle thing, right? Yeah, I'm remembering now. Okay. So this one, it's like you have to get it set up so that you win. So I can't... Oh, I can move his shit. Okay. Oh, I can move it onto my board? Okay, so... Yeah, we gotta deal five damage here. Easy. We got a skank. <laughs> Alright, he adds it to my deck. This is actually making my deck worse, but I think we unlock shit by doing this. This is the one where it's like it'll jump in the way. Or no, you kill it and then it generates a tail isn't that what that does or something like that is that is that how that fucking works okay so we gotta deal five here so i think we do this uh, and we do oh, we can't move that one out of the way okay so does it i think it jump does it jump in the way or look let me look it up let me take a look in the book oops shit uh d all right give me the show me what the fucking tail thing does Tail, 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 give me the tail, give me the tail, give me the... Show me the tail! Where's the tail, bro? Where is it? Do I have to, like, see it in play before I learn what it does? Oh, here we go, here we go. When a card bearing the signal will be struck, a tail is created in its place, and a card bearing the signal moves to the right. I see. Okay, okay, uh, yeah, okay. So that one has to stay there, so we don't want to attack there. We want to attack like that. We want to attack like that. So that's four right there. Four skin, and then we hit for five. Yep. All right, call it a day. We got a worker ant and a queen. Ugh. All right. Well, we, have to, we have to do this. Um, there's that. This is the ant. Oh, yeah, these are the ants. So they have power equal to the number of ants that are out. So if we do that, he can move to the right, but we might be blocked anyway, right? So let's think about this. Let's think about this. But the, this increases the power of shit on the board. So we definitely want that. That's free. This one, we can go ahead and deal two like that. So that's... Yeah, we do that. So that'd be... Because um, we fly over there. That's three on the board. So that's three power. That moves over here, but we're flying. So we deal five. Yep. All right, what do we got? We got the caged wolf. Curious. All right, all right. And then this one here. Um, the thorns... Deal one damage back, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so... I'm trying to remember now. Um, okay, so that one... Well, might not be free. Okay, so we hit bump, bump, bump. This one's locked in place. And then we got three damage there. If we hit here... Okay, so we hit bump. We move like that. That'd be two 
plus three. I mean, that's just it, right? Because it's a bifurcated strike there, so it goes. Oh wait, this one. This one's locked in place. He'll hit that and he'll move over. Right. I forgot. He moves to the right if I hit with this one. So here we want to move this up, and then he hits that first and dies before he hits that one and moves over. And then this one hits twice, and then that one's three. So then, boom. All right, cool. And we get a squirrel head. Okay. Well, hey, we figured that out. Now we got the caged wolf that I think if we kill it, then, uh, yeah, that gives you teeth. We spin. Blow that out. If we, if we kill the caged wolf in combat, then we get something or something like that. I don't know, it's been a while, man. Uh, okay. We sit back down. We got such a fucking huge deck now, though, dude. This sucks. Alright, we got a boulder. That shit sucks. Uh, we will just take the uh, squirrel. All right, move on here. What do we got? What do we got? <laughs> Stink bug, you again, indeed. Our friend freed me. Well, I basically told them how to do it. You got a plan? We have another friend here. You've got to be. I wouldn't call him a friend, but I suppose we are in deep this time. Okay, we got the caged wolf. So I think if I get this thing killed, I think then I get the, the wolf card that's better. All right, so uh, here I will just play the stoat out. He's got the wolf cub here. So we want to play the stoat in front of the wolf cub. So that way we kill it next turn, I think. Or I could play the stink bug next turn, potentially, but we can't guarantee that. So let's just put the stoat there so we can kill the, uh, the cub there. Even though it'll take one, it's all good. Alright, so we tax like that, and then now, um, I gotta think, do I want to draw the, I mean, we can't play anything anyway, so let's just go ahead and draw like that. And we got the cockroach there, not very good. I could play a squirrel out, but then this thing is just gonna, what the fuck does that thing do? Uh, adjacent to the card bearing the sigil, I gain one power. Does that, I forgot, does that increase the tree's power? I think it might, actually, which is funny, but uh, we'll see, we'll see. Alright, so I don't think I play anything here. I think I wait a turn. Yeah, let's wait a turn for now. See, our, our deck fucking sucks right now. Alright, so, I mean, getting another squirrel. Yeah, let's go ahead and get another squirrel. Let's pop a squirrel now, and then I'm gonna go like that. And then that. Actually, I don't, I don't even know why I'm doing this. Whatever. Let's see if we can get the caged wolf killed, maybe. And then I can play the stink bug out. I actually, yeah, I really didn't need to do that. Let's try to stall, though. I'm gonna try to stall to try to get the cage wolf killed. Because I can't sacrifice it, I don't think, if I remember it correctly. So I think it has to die, right? Or no, can I? No, I can't uh, draw blood from the cage wolf. The worker ant isn't very good on its own. So here we don't kill yet. So yeah, we're still stalling, which is good. But we will kill next turn. Potentially, so I don't know. Let's just see what happens here. All right. So we got bones here, and now, yeah, I shouldn't have used the fucking thing. I forgot that it's like the first round and like nothing comes in. It's all good though. Um, what I will do here is I don't want him to die yet. So I think what I'll do is um. Oh man, there's no way to prevent him from dying here. I fucked up on that one. It's all good, it's all good. Alright, whatever. We just send it in and win. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. I'll get the fucking thing killed in the next round. Hopefully. Alright. What do we got? We've got River Otter, we got Sparrow, we got DK. Okay, easy. <laughs> Delightful Kiss Boy. OP. Alright, out of all these, I definitely want to just thin my deck out as much as humanly possible. Uh, just to get to DKB. Alright, we want to keep DKB like that. I think I could put a sigil on him, right? So I could put the endless sigil on him, which is fucking cracked with a free creature. So I think that's just a win. Uh, so I think I just do that every fucking time, right? Yeah, okay. Now we just get rid of as many fucking cards as possible. Infinite items, infinite four sixes for free. Sounds good to me. Alright. Keep thin in the deck, boss. Alright. Worker ant, opossum, wolf. 
Alright, he's got a wolf cub coming in, so we want to... He'll hit for one, yeah. So we want to put a worker ant there. Alright, pretty good. Pass. Alright, hits like that. Now, um... I'm trying to think. Here, bum bum bum. Yeah, so let's just go ahead and do this. Go like that. We'll put the, um... Wolf right there, and then the possum I'll just put over here. Why not? Oh, I forgot about the overkill damage. Yeah, that's right. That's right. You can kill the shit in the back row. Back row. Lucky for me. All right, pretty good. Pretty good. It's got another wolf cub coming over there. All right, we draw here. We got the caged wolf again. Oh yeah, I forgot. I gotta get this thing killed eventually. Do I just want to sack my two creatures? Yeah, let's stall. Because I, I I can wait for DKB to come up and then get the win there. And then I'll get an item and shit out of it. So let's just go ahead and get this boy killed here. Alright, bring him in. Bring him in and kill my guy for me. Alright, we draw here. We got DKB. Alright, so I'm going to hold off on playing DKB until we need to. Let's kill my cage wolf. We got the bullfrog. Alright, so then um, here. Yeah, let's just let him kill him. Cool. Alright, yeah. Good stuff. So there's the wolf there. And then um, now I will draw. And then it's over, man. It's Jover. Alright, uh, we want to cash that in. So I'm going to go like this. Sack DKB. Get him back. Let's put this here for now. Put you there. Let's get something else. Uh, that's okay-ish. Let's, uh, let's do this again, though. Okay, so... Yeah, okay, so let's stall a little bit longer here. Let's go ahead and uh, go like that. Put you down. Can I stall a little bit longer here? Okay, so I don't think I can anymore, unfortunately. I was going to try to swap that one out too, but it's whatever. I don't care. All right, we move on. We move on. We have an absolutely cracked fucking custom card here can't be beaten so uh, all I want to do is just thin my deck out to get to that quicker so this way doesn't let me thin my deck this way does so we go this way pretty simple pretty straightforward all right got uh, that shit turkey vulture I mean we just want shit with emblems now uh, and I would rather have the raven if we can't sacrifice it anyway so we go like that and then now let's sacrifice our worst Card. Ant Queen is pretty bad. An ant's great in your hand. Ah, that's not the worst. Alright, so that's a pretty bad sigil. I'll put flying on uh, something. Yeah, what do I want? Oh, I should have gotten up. I think I can go get the fucking wolf card. Whatever. Alright, uh, we'll put it on. Um, we'll put flying on. What is something I want to... I mean, I'll put it on a vanilla card that I... Because I can't sacrifice those. So let's put it on... Um, let's put on a wolf. Yeah, fuck it, why not? Put flying on the wolf there. Let me go get up and go get my fucking wolf card here. Alright. I think I go over here. Yeah, he's cracked now, so I get him out of here. I think I go over here now, put him down. But now I, this is the thing that lets you pop your eye out, right? You finally pried my special dagger from the paws of that squirrel, though you may wish you hadn't. Alright. All good, all good. Okay, I forgot. Yeah, we need to pick up a beehive at some point. Alright, and then I forget what the... I forget what the puzzle for this one is. It's like a time of day. Uh, what would... If I were a time of day, what would I be? Is it in here somewhere? Let me check. Just flip through these real quick, just to make sure there's no... That was a clock, but that, I think, is just a coincidence. Um... I don't, I don't see anything. Uh, I don't know, I can't remember how to fucking solve the time one. We're just gonna move on for now. Alright. Go here, and now we get a, um... No, oh, oh yeah, it's a battle for totems. I thought we got a totem there, but it's just a battle. Alright, DKB, alright, that's pretty much an instant win right there. So let's, um, this one does like two damage, right? 
Still not very good. This isn't that great either. But, um... Let's see, that's not... It's, it's great because this is a 4, too, so it's not an instant kill. So it gives us time to stall and get, like, better shit, too. So that's pretty good. Uh, I'm trying to remember, doesn't this do, like... I don't think this is very good, if I remember. Let's just test it out, see what happens. We stab ourselves, and we pull our little eye out. Oh, it does a fuckload of damage. Alright. I guess I should have held on to that one. Alright, that's fine. <laughs> Whatever. We get another item. Give me an item, dude. What the hell? Or maybe I, I just can't see it. Okay, whatever. Alright, we'll deal, um... I guess I'll just deal as much excess damage here as possible. All good. I thought it only dealt like two. That deals a fuckload. Huh. Guess I should have held on to it, but whatever. Uh, believe it or not, you're not the first to lose an eye here. This isn't much fun if you're half blind. Perhaps you'd like to replace it. Yep. Oh, I remember you get the magic eye out of the basket. Isn't there a magic eye? Like a little one that has like a fucking sigil on it or something? Am I crazy? Is it this one? Is this the magical eye? Alright, whatever. How do, you, how do you get the magical eye in the bucket? I can't remember, dude. Can't bother me remember. Oh, what is this again? This one sucks, dude. Doesn't it give you more cards? Shit. Right, you come across a hobbled man standing behind some boulders. You, you're caught me off guard. I'm not supposed to see me further till further down the chode. Say, I like me a gamble. If in, you can pick a boulder that has gold in it, you can keep it. I don't want gold. I don't want any. Just hit that one. I don't care. Golden pill. I don't want it. I don't want it. I don't fucking want it, dude. <sighs> Fuck me, dude. I just want to. All I want to do is send my deck to just be DKB <laughs> over and over again. That's all I want to do. All right, all right. Here we go. Here we go. All right. Oh Jesus Christ. Oh yeah. They start looking more, <laughs> more human over time. Okay. All right. All right. Caught me off guard. All right. Ant Queen. Um. I'll put the, the Ant Queen sigil on, um, I don't know, man, like the worker ant. Yeah, sure, why not? We just want cheap stuff, cheap stuff to get it out of the way, you know? All good, all right. Prospector time, prospector time. So we'll hold off on playing DKB until the second round, if at all possible, here. All right, the incessant clank, clank, clanking reverberated between your ears. The path ahead was blocked by a grotesque figure. It's the Prospector. Oh, yeehaw. Yeehaw, boy. Alright, what do we got? So strange. Why can't I remember his name? I believe I lost some of my memory in the flash. Alright, got a worker ant that summons more worker ants, right? Um, so what I could do here is... Deal four immediately, and then have the possum deal the five. Yeah, let's just go for that. Well, but then we'll be full up. He'll kill my shit. I don't know if we want to rush it, because then we'll be full on this side. We'll be stalled out. That's okay, though, actually. It gives us more bones, so we can play the stink bug later. Yeah, let's go for that. That's fine. All right, we'll do that. We'll do that. We'll put the um, worker ant down. Oh, I forgot. This gives you a fuckload of bones, too. Yeah. All right, I'll put this worker ant down. Then I'll put the opossum there. And then uh, we get a win here before he does anything else. Then we'll just let him wipe my board here. And then um, we got a little stall time so I can go digging for DKB. DKB, we are the swarm. All right. He struck gold. Oh, he removes those even. All right. And there's DKB. All right, so we just wait for him to clear some space for us, and we get the win. All right. Uh, yeah. Let's just draw here. Let's play DKB out. Oh, I forgot. Oh, I should have used the boulder. Oh, that's whatever. I can. I'll be able to cycle him again. All right. All good. Uh, yeah. I mean, no reason but to keep drawing here. Uh, yeah. With hit. Uh, there we go. Prospector boss again. Alright, so let me get the boulder out of the way here. Let's kill him. Put you down. Play DKB here. That's better. That's okay. 
Uh, do I want to sack twice and then cycle and get better shit even, maybe? I mean, this isn't even that good. Yeah, that's pretty good with DKB, though. Yeah. I'll keep that. That's fine. Oh, yeah. Whatever. Actually, like I said, uh, fucking teeth don't matter here because I don't want to be buying pelts anyway, right? So, who cares? Alright, uh, just show me, uh, like, Ouroboros or whatever, I guess. Gek, pack rat, definitely don't want that. Ouroboros, alright, I'll take the Ouroboros. We'll start building it up now, because if I remember one thing about this game, it's that Ouroboros just keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger throughout the entire game, right? Like it remembers it or something? I don't know. Uh, the cave. The buzzing and chirping of insects drowned out the sound of your footfalls. You beheld the wetlands. Okay, what is this one again? It was like the riddle thing. You arrived at the inky black mouth of a cave. A strange beast lurked within. I had spoke past one of my trials and I will be yours in a raspy voice. I don't want creatures. Three creatures will be drawn from your deck. They will decide your success or failure. Again, but first you must choose a trial. Don't you... You just get more cards, right? I don't want more cards. Alright. Uh, the trial of health. The drawn cards must have at least six health combined to pass. They have to have at least five bones or... Um, trial of wisdom. Three cards have to have three sigils among them to pass. Doesn't, doesn't this just give you more cards? I don't remember. I'll try to pass it just so I can... Remember what the fuck this shit is? So I'm just gonna do the sigil one, I guess. But I don't want more cards, let it be known. Uh, from that, so a failure. I think that's good though, right? Because doesn't, doesn't it just give you cards, if I'm remembering correctly? Which I do not want, explicitly. All right, so let's remove cards here. I think that's the remove, right? Just remove shit from across it, but there's something different. Uh, you int intuited that the fate of the creature placed for this would not be pleasant. Alright. Sounds good. Alright, what's my worst card? It's definitely Golden Pelt. Um, Skink is also pretty bad. I'll keep the Golden Pelt, I guess, for now, because it'll turn into something better later, I guess. So I'll get rid of the Skink or the Bullfrog. It's definitely the Skink, right? Skink is just really bad. Let's go ahead and put the skink down. Alright, they callously slaughtered the skink. However, the Bone Lord was pleased by your sacrifice. Uh, a minor boon of the Bone Lord. You will start each battle with one extra bone. Okay. That's fine. Doesn't really matter. Don't really care about that. We don't really need the bone strats right now. Alright, we got a bone. Look, there's a third talking card somewhere around here. Personally, I hate the guy. Biggest killjoy ever, but he's the only one of us with a plan to get things back to normal. All right, golden pelt, great. Okay, so he's got uh, two bees here. Don't really care about that. I could put a bullfrog in front of one of them. That's yeah, fine, that's fine. Although, I, do I really give a shit about these bees? I don't really. So for now, I'm going to hold off on playing the bullfrog. And let's just play the stoat down here. And then just go for it. Take two here. Don't care. Alright, uh... Let's think here. I mean, yeah. Let's just fucking play out the bullfrog there. I guess I should have played it first, whatever. This was a... Wasn't thinking about it. Alright. So he's got a mantis coming in there. Let's draw from here. Worker ant. And uh, let's think here. So we take two there. This one's going to hit him. And that'll hit him as well. So. That's fine. Yeah, I don't really give a shit about that. Alright, let's just send it in. Okay. Uh, let's just draw here. Let's kill um, one of the bees here, I guess. I'll put a... Well, he'll hit that, and then... We'll block one there, yeah. Fuck it. Let's do that. Actually, we're going to kill that mantis anyway, so yeah, all good. Alright, uh, and then I could play out another worker ant, but I think I could just wait. Just hit like that. 
you take two. Yeah, but we have one. It's all good. Draw like that. I'll put this here, and then I'm gonna put this worker ant um, right here. All right, we're dealing a good amount back. Okay. We're all good now. We're all good. All right, so we draw this. Ouroboros. Uh, so here we would like this to die, ideally. So let me think here. Do I wait a turn? Let's see, I'd hit for one like that, and then... Hit, we could put it there, but I have to sacrifice another one of these. I think I'd wait a turn on it. Yeah. Just get out of death range here. All right. All good. All right, so I'm going to go like this. I'm going to put this like this. And then now what I can do is I can put the Ouroboros like that. And then it'll die. All right, good stuff, good stuff. There we go. We get him back. Let's see if we can get him killed again. Now let's draw like that. We get an opossum here. Now opossum, uh, actually we can't get him killed again. This I can get him killed again by sacking him, potentially, which I will be worth doing. Let me see here. So he's got the worker ant there. I can stall a little bit more. I think I'll hold off on playing anything. Let's just stall and see if we can get another kill on the Ouroboros here. Okay, we'll draw like this. I see the way this is going. I concede. I may accept my surrender. Or I may finish the match the slow way. I think I will finish the match the slow way. Because here what I'm going to do is I'm going to play Ouroboros out. And then I will be able to sack it next turn to the wolf. So let's do that. So I'm going to go like this. I'll put um, this here. And then now we're still stalled. So I'm dealing two, he's dealing two. Now I can draw a, a squirrel here. I can put the squirrel down and then I'll sack like that. And uh, I'll put this guy here. So we're dealing net one now. If it's all good. Now let me think here. Do I want to, I think I want to draw like this. Put the opossum out, sack it. Okay, play the Ouroboros, hit, take one, potentially sack it next turn. Yeah, let's do that. All right, so I'm going to play the opossum out here. I'm going to go like this. Might as well just kill like that. And then, uh, yeah, let's do that. Yeah, I can actually just get a squirrel next turn. And then now I can sack the Ouroboros again. And now we'll kill. But we got a uh, bunch of kills on the Ouroboros. Actually, oh, we got flying. I forgot. Yeah, that's fine. But we don't kill, though. Yeah, we still have one off, so maybe I can get even one more kill here, potentially. Um, yeah, yeah, let's try for that. Put this down. Block like that. So he blocks there, and then now, if I draw this, uh, it's DKB. But I can, um, I can swap out one of my items. I think I can swap this one out. That's pretty good. Let's do that. Uh, yeah, this one's not very good. Let's just do that. And, yeah. Okay, the bones aren't very good, though. Maybe I should have cycled out some bones there. But, hey, it's all good. It's all good. Alright, we move on. We move on. Alright, so I go here. Okay, what do we got? We've got uh, Rat King. Not very good. We've got uh, Mantis. We've got Skunk. Mmm, none of these are very good. Although, uh, Skunk is pretty... Isn't this sigil good against the um, moon? Although, we have that already. So I could put the bifurcated strike onto like Ouroboros or something like that. Which wouldn't be too bad. It makes it easier for him to get killed too, potentially, maybe. I don't know. This is not a good sigil. I think the best sigil is the Mantis. And we've already got Stinky. Alright, so we wanted to sacrifice shit, so let's go ahead and do that. We'll go over here. Get rid of more cards, baby. Alright. And then uh, let's put down the bifurcated strike, I think, right? Yeah. I mean, I could get rid of the... The bullfrog is certainly worse. But, um... I think that... I mean, the, the sigil on this one is just better. So, let's just go ahead and do that. And then we'll put it on, um... I put it on Ouroboros. I could alternatively put it on... 
Yeah, I was just fucking putting on Ouroboros. I mean, we hit twice. That's pretty fucking good on a 4-4. Four -four. Yeah, fuck it, why not? Why not? We take that, we take that. Alright. We good, we good. Now let's move on to here. And, uh, let's do this battle. Alright, I got a bone here. Got a bone to pick with you. Alright, we got our pimped out Ouroboros there. So now what I can do is I can go like this. I can, uh, go like this, play this. I can, um... Ah, uh, let's stall the game out, though. Let's try to get the Ouroboros killed. I could just kill immediately right now, but let's try to get the thing pumped up even more. Let's pump this shit up, baby. Alright, so we go like that. Now, what do I want to do here? So, I could play it out. Let's try to draw from this. So, we got workaround here. So, I could kill it there, and then do that, that, that. Yep. Yeah, it's pretty good. Let's do that. Alright, so I'm going to go like this. I'm going to play out the Ouroboros. And, uh... I could hit for four like that, and then, um... Four there, and then we're looking okay. Because we're neutral now. Let's do that. I'll leave it out for now. Just to put us up ahead a little bit. And then, uh, he's going to swing like that. Let's draw like this. Maybe I should have gotten the squirrel there. I'm trying to think. We're just taking one there. Yeah, that's all good. Yeah, let's do this. Okay, I'm going to sack like that. I'm going to put uh, you down like that. I got another worker ant here anyway. And then... This will kill that. This will be staying right there. Yeah, this is pretty, looking pretty good here. Alright. We can stall for quite a bit here. And I have a kill at any time that I need it. So there's an adder like that. And then what I could do is... I think I could hit like I think I stall for another turn here let's just not play anything here we'll take one this will die that's fine though one and then we'll take uh, four here but that's okay yeah let's go ahead and do that let's take four here actually we, uh, we deal one anyway so we're taking four three basically all right all good all good Alright, then I'll draw here like this. So I got two squirrels now. Play the Ouroboros out. Hit both like that. He takes no damage. We take one. Yeah, let's do that. And I can sack him next turn on the wolf. So yeah, we go like this. And uh, yeah, looking pretty good here. Hit like that. We take one. No biggie. Alright, then um, what I'll do is draw another squirrel, and then I can sack the Ouroboros. Get even bigger. Play out the wolf now. Play the wolf. Uh, let's leave that locked up as is. Let's just play the wolf um, here. Leave a center lane open for the Ouroboros with the bifurcated strike here. Alright, we take three. Let's just keep stalling, man. Let's keep stalling. Joseph Stalin here. Alright, uh, I could play it there and then hit twice and then sack it next turn and then blah blah blah. Yeah, let's do that. Do I need to play it again now, though, is the question. So I deal, I deal three, take four. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Let's leave it, uh, let's stall another turn here. Deal three, take four. All good, all good. Alright, then I'll just draw another squirrel here. Let's play out uh, like this, like this. We'd hit there, we'd take three, but we're dealing three, and we're taking nothing now. Yeah, let's do that. Alright, put this here. Oh, it deals trample anyway. Yeah, never mind. We're all good. We're all good. Alright, so when he hits like that, and then now I'll draw from here, and then let's just. Uh, Sack you, and then put uh, you here. Get another turn here with the Boros. Deal two to us. And then now, let me think here. I can um, draw like this. Greetings. Okay, so what I can do now is I'll sack these two like that. Put you here. Play the stink bug out. Play the wolf out like this. And then put this one here. And then I think that's it. 
All right, we're growing our Ouroboros nicely here. All right, we got this now. This is the trader. You encounter it tended by a wood. I was the trader. The old trapper had mentioned her appearance was unsettling, but you were mollified by her offerings. Do you mind if I examine those pelts of yours? Sure, bud. Sure. Is that a golden pelt? Magnificent. If I could trade you for any of these, take your time. Uh, I mean, all these suck shit, right? I mean, child 13, what is it? Turns into like a 3-2 flyer or something like that, right? Not the worst. Strange larva seems pretty bad. Pack is explicitly bad. Aureoli is pretty fucking bad. I'll take child 13. Decent sigil, maybe. Ish. Okay. Would prefer to not have a card, but it's better than a pelt, so there we go. Alright, so let's just get rid of another guard here. Every time, buddy. Every time. Alright, so... Now let's get rid of the bullfrog. Let's put the bullfrog sigil onto... the... opossum. Just to get our deck thinner. Alright. And then I'll uh, go to Quambat over here. Good stuff, good stuff. Alright, alright, alright. We got DKB, we got... I mean, this is an insta-win here if I want it. Um, do I want it, though, is the question. Because I could play just, just play DKB and stall a little bit, try to grow the Ouroboros a little bit. Let's get rid of one of these things of bones here. Let's play DKB out... Um, Play DKB out here so they can hit into that next turn. Oh, I just got more fucking bones, brother. Um, I could play out the wolf sack DKB. Yeah, let's do that. Let's go like this. Let's get another item here. Um, let's go like that. Let's cash these in. Well, let's just take the fucking win. I don't care, man. I don't care. Um, we can just let's get more teeth. Why not? Why not? <laughs> Let's put the Ouroboros down, um, and then we can get another, uh, let's cat- I don't- I don't really need bones. We don't have that much shit for bones. That's worse than bones, though. But, so I might as well use it now. Just get some extra teeth here, I guess. Why not? And then we get a fuckload of teeth here. Twenty more? Something like that? <laughs> all good, all good. Alright, we move on, we move on. We really don't need the Ouroboros bigger than this, but it's just kind of fun to try to get it as big as possible. Alright, I've got the most exquisite pelts. Please do not give me pelts. Ah, oh, my fucking god. Fuck you. Alright, I don't want anything else. Much appreciated. Alright, then we can get rid of another one. We get rid of another creature here. Good stuff, good stuff. Alright, let's do that. Alright, so here, uh, let's get rid of child 13 and put it on the... Might be good on this-ish. Put it on the stoat. I'm just trying to think. Yeah, let's put it on the stoat. Yeah, let's do that. Because we can sacrifice the stinky one and get it out of our deck if we want to. Which is pretty good. Alright, we go to the angler now. The angler already blows the candle out. We got the smoke. And then uh, now... This guy's pretty fucking easy. I, I still don't remember what the second stage is. But Ouroboros keeps coming back, even if it dies, so I really am feeling fine here. I just can't get it stolen. Alright, uh, we got the infinite sack stoat plus the worker ant, so I can just do a fuckload right now. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna play the, uh, squirrel out. Sack it with the stoat. He's got a 1-3, blah, blah, Okay, so then let's play this out here. We'll play a worker ant over there, and then, um, get another worker ant here. Let's do that. Put you down there, and then, um, I'll keep a space open, because, uh, I want to play something there to prevent him from stealing something. Although we just win, yeah. Oh okay, yeah, we just win there, anyway. Alright, well, all good. Okay, what's the second phase? Go fish. He's got the chum box. Oh yeah, he gets, like, sharks or something. Not that it fucking matters. All right, we'll draw here, and then we get an opossum here. Do we play it out? I mean, I'll play the worker ant out. Fuck it, why not? All right. Oh yeah, I forgot it turned. They, yeah, they turn into sharks here, and the sharks um, can't be hit back, but we win anyway. So, 
<laughs> didn't matter. Didn't matter. All right, now we get another useless rare card. So that's fun. That's fun. I'll take a Gek. Gek is fine. I'm good with a Gek. But other than that, I don't really want anything. Nope. 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 I'll take another Child 13, I guess. All the other ones were pretty shitty. All right, we go off to the next stage, buddy. Stage. Let me think. Let me think. All right, so... Okay, we just want to sacrifice shit, right? Beauty of falling out of the shell and your bones as you ascended the snow line. All right, we go here. Uh, okay, we got another card here. We got an elk. We got the pronghorn. And we got the beehive. All right, we want the beehive because we want to be able to set up that one scenario. Uh, so here we will get rid of another card. And we'll probably get rid of the stink bug if I go there. Alternatively, I could go here. I'm trying to think, though. The stink bug isn't even that bad, right? Um... I mean, it's just clogging up our deck, though. What would I put the stink on? I'd put the stink on the, um... Wolf or something, I guess? Yeah, let's just thin the deck out. Still good. Still good to do that. Alright, so let's go ahead and, uh... Sack... Oh, I got Child 13, too. Yeah, so let's sack, um... Child 13 here. And put it on, um... Not the Beehive. We don't want the... We don't want it on the Beehive, really. I'll put it on the, um... Yeah, you. Fuck it. Actually, might not even be good, though, because I can't get rid of you. Ah, whatever. They can kill him, though. We can get it killed by his other creatures and shit. Whatever. No biggie. I'm not too worried about it. Alright. We're just thinning our deck out, baby. Alright, we got our Ouroboros, so we have a turn one win. Well, we... I mean, we do if we use Squirrel, but I don't need to. We've got a uh, mole and a moose buck coming in. A moose fuck. All right. Uh, let's go ahead and play out. Let's just do this. we got the stowed out. So I'll put the stowed. This thing jumps in front of me, right? Yeah, I don't give a shit about that. This thing pushes things over and moves from side to side, if I remember correctly. Uh, yeah, let's just put the stowed, like, in the... Over here. It doesn't really matter. I'll put this here, and then uh, I'll put this guy there. I get another worker ant. Let's put another worker ant out. Oh, let's just get the win now. I, I'm done fucking around, man. Whatever. We go like that. Call it a day. Pack it in. Eight eight is good enough. Ah, oh, I could have gotten. Uh, I could have. I should have kept cycling the Ouroboros just for style points, but we really don't need to. All right, we got uh, cards here, which I don't want. Uh, okay, I'll take a sigil card. Let's take a flyer, so we can sacrifice it here. Get a totem fight there. That's the items. We don't need any more items, so I'll just go over here. We'll sack a flyer, make something flying now. Uh, sack the raven. Make the uh, wolf flying. Yeah, fuck it, why not? Keeping our deck lean and mean cuisine, baby. Alright, move on here. And then now we want to replicate that one loadout, if possible, I guess, with the squirrel and beehive and shit. I guess we can't do it now, because that thing's blocking our way. All good, though. Alright, so I can uh, just get the win now if I want it, which I'd probably do. Yeah, fuck it, why not? Alright, uh, what's our worst? Do we, we only have two items now? Is that correct? Yeah, we have two items. So let's just go like this. Boom. And then uh, we'll put you down here. Call it a day. Pack it up. Pack it in. Cool. <laughs> Alright, uh, there's the... That's the trader? Is that the trader? Is this the one that gives me pelts? Alright, I definitely don't want any more cards. But if I go this way, I can get to the... So I can purposely try to fail this one. We get another sacrifice, but then it's just the... What is it? What's our other rune? Our other rune is, um this, but we want to keep the beehive to get that unlocked, so actually going that way isn't even that good. Here, though, I'm going to the items and I will get another pack rat, which is worse. And I don't really give a shit about getting a card from this. So yeah, let's just go this way. So maybe I will try to pass this one now, to try to get another sigil creature, potentially, I guess. Alright, uh, trial of wisdom, three sigils to pass, six health to pass, four pack to... So... It, it, be it begs the question, uh, I, I don't remember what this does. Let's just try to pass it just to remember what it even does. 
Alright, trial of power begins. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Aid from the warrior. Yeah, pass the trial. So yeah, we got a... Oh yeah, you get like a special one. So this one gives me an ant, and it's an infinite sacrifice. We don't need any more infinite sacrifice, though. But all these suck. I, I mean, this one is pretty bad. I mean, it's got infinite death on it. I'm trying to think if that's useful in any way here. The two blood adder suck, so I will just take another one of these, I guess. Fuck it. Got a lot of ant shit going on now. So that was even worse than just getting a regular card, because now I can't remove it with this. Still better than getting a pack rat, though, here. So let's, um... Ah, whatever. I have to do this now. I first was thinking about that. That's fine. We, we can get another... I mean, we could do it later. Whatever. <laughs> whatever, bro. <laughs> so that was, uh... That did not work out as anticipated. But whatever, dude. It's fine. Alright, we draw here. We got DKB. We got to win. If we want it. If we so choose to have it, uh... Which... Yeah, let's fucking do it. Let's get that out of the way there. Let's play you here, and then, uh... It's got the fucking things right back, baby. Right back. I could have put... Actually, oh, I should have just done... Cycled it again, actually. I could have done that with that. Whatever. I could... Actually, I can do it. So let's do that. And then, uh, we'll put you down. And then I'll cycle you again. That's better. That's way better. Hell yeah, brother. All right. Moving on, moving right along here, and then, uh, this is the blood shit. Okay. Um, not a specific beast, but decide the cost that you wish to pay. So there is one blood, two blood, or bones. Sorry, right, I just want one blood. God damn it, that one sucks. That one sucks. Sucks so bad, it makes me so mad. Okay, uh, let's go here. Try to offer somebody up. We'll offer up. Put them offer up. All right. Uh, here, I'm just gonna hope they eat my dude. And I would like them to eat this guy. Go ahead and eat him. Eat him. Eat him. Eat him. God damn it. How do you make it? I don't know, like, isn't there a chance that they eat them? I want them to eat them. I want my deck to be as thin as possible. Whatever, though. Okay. What does this guy do? Oh, yeah. This is the trapper. You reach out, stops you. Isn't this, isn't this guy, like, easy, though? This guy's, like, not even that hard, right? It you know, turns your guys into pelts or something, but then... This guy lives forever, so it doesn't fucking matter. So let's just try to win now. Get a cat. Um... Yeah, let's just do this. No reason to fuck around too much. Uh... Let's just win. <laughs> Call it a day. So does, uh, does that leaping trap kill the thing in front of it? Uh, too fast, too soon. Once again. You know, I actually may be able to kill this shit now. Actually, yeah, I get a win here. I get a win here if I use the scissors here. That's hilarious. Alright, yeah. Let's go for it, brother. Alright. Kill that. And then we get eight. See ya, bud. Nice try. Nice try, bud. Have fun. Alright, move on. Move next. Good stuff. Uh, your lives are restored. Alright, move on. I get, uh, choose carefully. Okay, get another useless card. Alright, strange larva, pack rat, amalgam. Oh yeah, this counts as like every creature type, which is important sometimes-ish. Isn't that, that's only for totems, right? I don't, I don't remember. Uh, I mean, it costs two. I don't really want that. Because it costs two. So, I'll take the strange larva. <laughs> I don't know. It's got a sigil, too. Although, now, I'm going to go fight the moon now, right? Okay. We persisted. You could see a light in the distance. The end is near. Okay. Oh, um, oh yes, I know. Okay, uh, we get a sacrifice. I could get rid of my shitty little dude. Yeah, let's do that. Keep the deck thin, brother. Keep the deck thin. Get rid of that. Although, that's a shitty fucking sigil. It's not the worst, though. Yeah, let's get rid of the fucking river otter. Sure, I don't care. Whatever, whatever. Never playing that card anyway, probably. Alright. 
Got a fight here. Uh, your eyes have fixed themselves on the small cabin. It's warm light, a beacon in the oppressive darkness of the night. Surely, surely this cabin has marked the ends of your travels. Okay. Well, let's see what happens here. I think I fight, I fight the moon, right? Isn't that what happens? I can't remember. Okay. Oh, yeah. We walk around. We get like a boon or something. Give me the boon of the moon. All right. What is this? This is the boon, right? Don't I get a boon? Okay, here we go. Steps away from the strange cabin and you're presented with an opportunity. I don't offer my boons to just any traveler. If you're able to pass my trials, you'll be rewarded mightily. Okay. Uh, trial of the ring. If you have a ring, you pass automatically. I don't. Uh, trial of skins. The three cards drawn must include a pelt card. Uh, not gonna happen, probably. Trial of the swift. Drawn three cards must include a card with a sprinter sigil. Well, I do not have that at all. So I guess I have to go with this one. Trial of skins begins. We do not hit it. Not a single pelt card. Failure. That's fine. We'll repeat that once more. Okay, we got... Trial of the wing. The three drawn cards must include a card with the airborne sigil. Uh, must include with the waterborne and uh, a rare card. Uh, what, what rare cards do we even have? Can I take a look? I can't remember. We've got... Um, is that 11 right there? Is that what that says? 11 on the clock. Alright, whatever. Um, okay, so... Uh, rare cards, we have um, Ouroboros, Strange Larva. We don't have a pack rat, right? We don't have a pack rat? We got rid of all of our child 13s. I think that's it, right? Just Ouroboros, so that's two... We have two of we only have two flyers though, so let's just go for the rares. Fuck it, why not? The trial of rarity begin. Yep, okay, we hit it. Excellent. Alright, we got it. World Boris is a rare card. Success. I grant you one of my most powerful boons. It's the cards that dramatically alter the game. You don't even need to draw them. Alright, we got Boon of the Magpie's Eye. When you draw from your deck, you may choose any Okay, that's What the fuck, dude? Alright, you start with the black goat on the board, and you'll have Grand for that is terrible. That's a bat that's a downside. That's incredible. Like I just win. <laughs> alright, alright. We take that. We take that. We take that. I forgot how cracked those boons are, man. Alright, you managed to get a boon. This may be a fair competition. Dude, this is gonna be easy as shit, dude. You're dead. Bye bye, brother. Have fun. Dying. I get to draw any card I want. Oh yeah, it's leshy. Yeah. You took your time to get out of here, and I'm itching for another game. Are you ready to play? I guess so. Alright, let's go. Okay, I'd have to step forward. Okay, there we go. Easy. Hope you're ad adequately prepared. Um, I hope you are, boss. That is what you need to worry about. I'm going to deal 16 to you immediately. Have fun with that. Got my boon there. I guess I don't get it immediately. I get it next turn, huh? That's fine. Uh, I'm gonna hold on to the stink bug because I'm pretty sure, if memory serves, uh, I get to. Um, I, it's good against the moon, right? Or something? I don't know. Anyway, um. Just gotta survive here, right? One turn. Yeah, which we do. So. I'll play the, um. Cat and then the opossum or something. Yeah, fuck it. Let's go like that. And then, uh, sack this cat. I don't know, I'll put the cat there, and then, uh, oh yeah, we got a worker ant. Okay, so I get the worker ant, which I'll put, um, let's put the worker ant here. And then we'll put the, uh, possum there. Yeah, fuck it. Then we just draw whatever the fuck we want. So, uh, yeah. I'll grab you. Oh, is, he, is he gonna blow all our shit up? It doesn't matter, though, because we just kill him here, right? Yeah, we just... Boom. Alright. Fuck it. Uh, let's, uh... Yeah, let's keep our shit here. So, let's go like this. Oh, that's gonna block it, though. Uh, that's fine, though. It kills my thing more. More for me. Alright, tramples over, kills his other thing. That's fine. Got a gold nuggy. 
Okay, so let's just grab uh, DKB. We got two endless insane cards here. Yeah, so this is over. It's Jover, man. It's Jover. All right, so let's play this. Get a boulder. Don't want that. I don't want that. All right, let's do that. Let's play the Ouroboros here. And then uh, let's get a better item. Got that. All right, hit him. Call it a day. Pack it in. Pack it in. Go to the next stage. All right. We eliminate like that. You got a stump. You capably endured the onslaught of rare creatures, but the true challenge was forthcoming. Shadowy figures appeared before you. In their eyes glimmered a recognition of kinship, but colored by guilt. They were betraying you. Casey, I remember that one fondly. Reginald. Yeah, well, they're gonna die immediately. All right, what do we want? Uh, let's just get, um... I don't fucking know. Uh, I don't really give a shit about any of these anymore. I'll just grab you. Sack them. All right, so uh, now I can sack the Ouroboros and I'll just play it again. Get it even bigger. Let's do that. Let's grow them even more. All right. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Get you out again, and then, uh, these are pretty good items. Actually, Black Goat sucks for us. Not very good. Let's get you out of the way. We've been holding on to that thing forever. We got that. Uh, let's, yeah, let's go ahead and, uh, get Ouroboros even bigger again. Might as well. Let's get you out of the way. Don't like you. And then, uh, let's sack these two again. Get you out. And, uh... Put you out again, get another item, baby. Uh, it, okay. Okay. I see how it is. I don't want to play either of these because these are unkillable for... Th no, this one is... Okay, that's fine. Yeah, let's do that. Kill it again. Play you. Pull another tooth out. Sacrifice myself to the Ouroboros. And, uh, get another item. Get another black goat. Alright, well, let's just keep doing this indefinitely. So we have the world's largest Ouroboros here. Okay, we got that. Boulder. Don't want that. Whatever. Alright. Move on to the next round, buddy. Alright, I think this one's the moon, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, hit me with the moon, boss. I don't give a shit. The damned moon. It's dramatic, yes? Let's take a picture, put it on a card, but it provides me with no value to my board. I wonder. S take a little snip snip. Slap her on down. Now that's value. Yeah, that's fine, dude. All right. Draw you. Uh, let's just get uh, the stoat, I guess. Oh, no, actually, that's not what I wanted. That ah, doesn't matter. Who cares? Whatever. Let's just uh, send it. We're pretty much done. Yeah, that's fine, dude. Don't care. Uh, I'll take, um, Strange Larva. Let's get the Ouroboros even bigger. Yeah, why not? Put you down, and then, uh, let's play DKB again. That's me. What even is that? Is that the fucking piggy barrel? I mean, it doesn't matter. I'm just trying to get my thing bigger. Whatever. We win. We win. We move on. You really destroyed the moon. I did. I suppose all that's left is to finish me off. <laughs> I'm about to finish this guy off. Stroganoff, baby. All right. We blow out his candle and we move on with our lives. I'm trying to remember, I didn't unlock everything there, but whatever, dude. All right, did we I, get. Did I just? I think I just beat him. I beat him. Oh, is this name? It's like the Lucky Carter or something like that, right? The Lucky Carter. Is that how it goes? Okay. Uh, anyway, uh, it's getting pretty late right now. Uh, I had fun playing this game. It's been, like I said, a while since I've played it. Um, but it was fun revisiting it. Um, but I think I'm going to call it there. And uh, maybe I'll pick it up for uh, Act 2 and 3, etc. I remember Act, Act 2, it's like a TCG after that point. And then I, I'll unlock Casey's mod again, then we can keep playing that if people are interested in this. But I'm, I'm having fun playing this. It's always a, a delight to play any card game for me. All right. Anyway, thank you all for watching. Hope this was entertaining. Hope uh, hope you liked some, some funny little combos I had there. Uh, Casey's mod is not 
quite as easy as this, but um, you can still do some busted shit in Casey's mod, I think. So, I don't know. I'll have to revisit it once I unlock it again. Because I think, I didn't realize that wiping my data would um, get rid of Casey's mod, I think. So, whatever. Lost my progress on that. But uh, easy come, easy go. Anyway, hope you all have a good night, and bye-bye. <laughs>